The deadline to the fiscal cliff is here. The countdown running out with the new year. But late tonight, the White House and lawmakers announced they have a deal. Vice President uh, Biden saying he's confident as he left the Capitol within the hour. ABC News' Karen Travers is live in Washington, D.C. right now. She has the very latest for us on the late-breaking developments on the fiscal cliff story. Karen? Good evening. It is midnight here on the East Coast, and technically we have gone over the fiscal cliff, but we're expecting a vote in the Senate on a deal any time, and Vice President Biden and leading Democrats say it'll have strong support. Don't start popping the champagne just yet, but tonight a major step to avoid the fiscal cliff. After days of intense negotiations, the White House and Senate Republicans reached a deal. And tonight, Vice President Biden went up to Capitol Hill to sell it to Senate Democrats. Happy New Year. Biden swooped in at the 11th hour to hammer out a way forward with Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell. Their agreement would permanently extend the Bush tax cuts for individuals making under 400,000 and households making under 450,000. Raise the estate tax for those valued at more than $5 million and extend unemployment benefits for one year for some 2 million people. And those automatic spending cuts that would go into effect in the new year? They'll be postponed for two months and paid for by other spending cuts. The House could take up the deal tomorrow. Taxpayers would have felt the impact of the fiscal cliff immediately. If the deal passes, the average American family would avoid a tax increase of more than $3,400. A White House official told ABC News this is a compromise, so we don't love it, but it's the right thing to do for the economy. Reporting live from Washington, Karen Travers, ABC News. You can count on ABC News, 7 News, and the DenverChannel.com for the very latest on the efforts to avoid the fiscal cliff. We'll also bring you the very latest on Facebook and Twitter.